I argue for direct uh, confrontation with the forces that are destroying the planet. Uh, I, I, I think that um, the best way to, the only way that we're going to save the planet is if we dismantle industrial infrastructure. Um, you know, the, we know what is destroying the world. We know that uh, the um, combustion of fossil fuels is, is producing climate change, for example. Uh, we know that the, uh, exp- you know, that the expansion of agricultural operations, of industrial industrialization, uh, destroys habitat for, for the species we share this beautiful planet with. Uh, we know what is causing the problems. Um, and and if if we're going to if we're going to stop environmental destruction, we have to actually stop environmental destruction. We can't ask other people to do it for us. So uh, so like I said, I argue for dismantling industrial infrastructure. I think that morally we're obligated to do this as quickly as possible. The longer that we wait, the less of a planet is going to be left. And uh, we don't have any time to waste. So I, more specifically, I argue for things like sabotage. Uh, there are miles and miles and miles of of undefended uh, pipelines, of of relatively unguarded uh, hubs where um, things like fossil fuels are produced, are refined. Uh, and if this culture doesn't have access to its lifeblood, to fossil fuels, then it, it can't keep destroying. You, you have to be able to fill the backhoe with oil or gas in order for it to operate. Um, Unfortunately, uh, not a lot of people are, are ready to hear this or want to hear this. And unfortunately, as much as I wish that there was a serious uh, militant resistance movement forming uh, that was willing to consider uh, these more direct uh, approaches, uh, that just doesn't seem to be the case. So when I realized that, it's one thing for me to, you know, get on a podcast or get on my computer and type up an argument for uh, attacking industrial infrastructure. Um, it, but it's, it's another, it, I think it's more effective to actually uh, experientially show people why the tactics that they've been taught to believe in uh, aren't working, you know. When I say something like uh, we need to dismantle industrial infrastructure, we need to um, consider tactics like like sabotage, um, people say, well, we don't need to do that. We can file lawsuits. We can we can get the right the right uh, candidates in office. Um, But and and what what the example of what has happened in Toledo is showing people is that that it doesn't work, you know, and you can waste, I don't want to say, I don't want to say that the people of Toledo wasted their time. Um, but imagine if, if they already knew that everything that they were going to try back in 2014, wasn't going to work. Um, could we have stopped something? Cause again, nothing has been stopped in Toledo. It's the lake is still being poisoned. Uh, the algae blooms getting worse, you know, for all of the efforts that we've done in Toledo, um, it, it, nothing physically has changed. So that quote that you just read about, um, you know, much like using single matches to illuminate a painting in a dark room, I think that we have to show people, um, and the reason that I keep doing law work is to, from the outset, tell people, I don't think this is going to work. I'm a lawyer. I'm, I'm telling you this, but if you still don't believe me and you want to go through the process, uh, I I'll go through that process with you. And then, um, hopefully those people through their blood, sweat and tears that they poured into this when at the end of the campaign, when they haven't achieved what they, what they thought they were going to, there is going to be a moment where people are angry 
and they're energized and they have for the last five years honed their organizing skills, built relationships within their communities, um, really put together a framework for a truly uh, serious resistance movement. Uh, And I want to be there when those people do experience that anger to say there's other things we can try. We the the legal system is not the end end all be all. It is not the last thing. Um, you know, now it's time to think about how we how we can directly challenge, physically challenge what is happening, actually shut down the forces that are destroying the planet, that are poisoning Lake Erie. Um, you know, and to me that that does require uh, physical and perhaps armed confrontation, you know, um, there's what, what is it that we're actually trying to do through the legal system? When we file a lawsuit, what is it that we're actually trying to do? And to me at the, at the very basic level, um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the judge to order men and women with with guns, armed men and women with guns, the police, the the National Guard, the um, in Canada, the um, the RCMP. We're trying to we're trying to get the judge to order the police to act on our behalf. Um, you know, so if if we file a lawsuit against a corporate project and we're successful in getting a judge to rule that 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 project shouldn't go on. The real power behind the judge's decision is the judge's ability to, if that corporation disobeys the judge's order, the judge now has the power to order the police to go stop the corporation. So if we know that the legal system doesn't work for us, cut out the middleman, cut out, we don't need, we don't need it to be the the state's police that are protecting us. Why don't we learn how to protect ourselves is my is my big point. Why don't we skip the last like in Toledo? Why don't we skip the last five years of truly grueling work of of using all those resources? And and what if we started to think about, you know, our own police forces or, um, you know, our own um, our own more militant tactics uh, and instead of of wasting time precious, precious time where where we're losing so much. Why don't we skip that step and and get right to it and 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 stop the destruction? 